What is going on my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack here and in today's video we're going to be discussing a recent release of the latest node upgrade for Cardano mainnet and that is the Vasil capable upgrade that likely will be deployed very shortly. First things first though, if you are holding ADA and you want to stake it to earn passive ADA on your ADA, especially going into the Vasil hard fork, you can do so with the Jack stake pool. Now what I'm talking about is the release of node version 1.35.3. Now, you may have no idea what this means, but essentially there has been two other node versions or three other node versions, I guess now 35.0, 35.1 and 35.2 that have been worked on. And now we've gotten to a point where things are stable enough to provide full Vasil error capabilities. And with just a little bit more testing here, we're going to see if it can be forked to mainnet. Um, and if it is, this is the version that can do that likely that everything is going to be ready to go and we can start onboarding exchanges to this new node version new spos and then make the hard fork within the next month or so so some pretty exciting news considering the fact that everything was supposed to happen on you know june 30th or something like that and everybody was looking forward to Vasil a month and a bit ago a month and a half ago we're now coming to a point where hey things are thoroughly tested we're going to test a bit more and then we can deploy this upgrade i know a lot of people are going to be tired of waiting and hearing new news oh this new vasil video oh it's a delay oh it's a delay but in this case things are looking very good and very promising for the coming future as you can see here we can see that the known issues right here is listed and none of these issues are considered to be blockers for the mainnet hard fork they will be addressed in future releases so just some small issues that have been um, kept in this node upgrade nothing that's going to affect you know normal everyday features especially not for the people like yourself that are just using the cardano network and nothing big through testing yet that has been found to be any problems obviously this is the fourth version of the new facil capable node so they have went through a lot of different issues and they have solved the majority of them and anyone's left over now as i said here are not going to be blockers for the mainnet hard fork something else that is quite interesting is the ethereum merge happening very likely at the same time or in the same month as the Vasil hard fork Pretty interesting stuff. I know there's a lot of irony here, but fate does love irony. And this may just happen that the Ethereum merge and the Cardano hard fork happen within the same week even, which would be pretty interesting. So I thought I would mention it in today's video as a lot of people are banking on Ethereum's merge to proof of stake being the Cardano killer. And I don't think that's going to happen. I really don't. There's a lot of things to go on here. Like last, last year, Around September, we had the hard fork for smart contracts, and obviously, immediately, these things for the hard forks benefits don't come into play right away, and that includes Ethereum's move to proof of stake. It is going to take a long time to catch up to Cardano's proof of stake, as it is going to take a long time for Cardano to catch up to Ethereum's smart contract level. So that's my two thoughts on it, but also some interesting news is people joining up with the summon platform which is essentially a dao tooling platform on cardano i have been looking around at DAOs and dao tooling for quite a while now as i think it is a really big part of any you know cryptocurrencies ecosystem to have on a blockchain tooling to make DAOs. and summon dao has been one that has popped up they've got Dwayne cameron the C ceo of liquid finance and now on board as an advisor, really, really good advisor, and a bunch of other people that are strong on their team. So thought I mentioned it today, I'm not getting paid or anything. I just want to see people building on Cardano succeed, and especially so for DAO tooling. I think this is going to be very important going forward to bringing a lot of people from Ethereum or defaulting to Ethereum DAO tooling to come over to Cardano and use Cardano instead. Lastly, we have some interesting little blurbs here. Um, Alcoin Daily asking Charles Hoskinson the CEO of IOG, one of the founding partners of Cardano, to come on and do an interview. And he said might be able to work something out. So interesting. Maybe we'll talk about the Vasil hard fork. And I'm pretty excited to see this node release be, you know, confirmed, good to go, upgrade, and to put it on the Jack's take pool. But until then, I hope you guys have a great freaking day. I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. It's been your friend Jack. Peace out.